Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc. This is part four in a series looking at the VSDC free video editor. Part four, we're going to be adding audio files and applying effects. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go up here to add objects. Now in previous videos, we've looked at how to add text, how to add video, how to splice video, and add image processing. Today, we're just looking at audio. I'm going to add this audio sound file right here. I'm going to have it start from the cursor position, which is beginning of this video in this particular scene. I'm going to go right there, and there it is. Now, let's say I wanted to edit out the beginning of this audio file, which is a piece of music. So I would click on it. I'd go up here to cutting and splicing. Very much like we did with the video, I would click on Add Marker and Start Selection. Then what's going to happen is I'm going to start playing this, and whenever I am ready to stop it, I will do so and create a splice. So let's go ahead and listen to this a little bit, and I'll show you how that works. I'm going to stop it there, and I'm going to click on Add Marker and End Selection. I'm going to Apply Changes, and I'm going to click on OK. Now, usually it removes. Right here is the edited piece out. For some reason, it did not edit that out, even though I asked it to, based on those selections. So it's being a little ornery. I'm going to cut that out like that, and there it is. If I want to make this shorter, if I want to line it up with the video, then I can just drag that. I could also do it the way I just showed you, but this is a lot faster doing it this way. I can find the end of the video clip. You can see kind of the little special effect that we added to that. And I can just do it like that. I can go in here and add some effects to the audio file by clicking on this little tab. Go up to Audio Effects. I can create a fade in. This is saying how long do you want it to take before the music is at its full volume as it fades in. So you can, you can alter that if you want to. You can go back in here. There are uh, other effects too with delay, vibrato, filters, changing the tempo, and reversing it. I'm not going to demonstrate all those. I just kind of want to show you the neighborhood of some things that you can do. Uh, also, clicking on this, I can go over here, and if I wanted to affect the volume, if I wanted to make this less loud, quieter, I could do that, or I can make it louder. So I will briefly mention this file uh, that I've used for the audio. It is designated as Creative Commons in the public domain. I'll talk a little more about that in the next video. So that's the end of what we're going to look at in this part. In the next part, we're going to be looking at how do I actually export this project into a video file format and some of the different tools and choices that you can make. So that'll be in the next video. Please subscribe below so you can be informed of new videos once they're posted and comment if there's anything specifically you'd like me to demonstrate that you have questions about with this video editor. Until then, take care and thanks for watching.